Hi, I'm Max Anderson, the Melvin and Brent Simon Director and CEO, and delighted to welcome you to the Davis Lab. I'm joined today by Daniel Incandela, who is our Director of New Media. Good to Hello. see you, Daniel. Hey, Max. Tell us a bit about what happens in the Davis Lab. Well, at the front here we have four kiosks where people can access the IMA blog, so they can read posts from conservators and curators. They can access our Flickr account where they can learn about the types of parties we have here, but also about conservation projects. And they can also become a fan of us on Facebook. So you also are heavily invested in video. How is that taking flight? Well, for the past three years, our department has been producing HD content that have focused on talks, artist interviews, and documentaries. So we also wanted to find a place where we could showcase that. Based on the, uh, the talents of the staff we have internally, we decided to build a brand new site called Art Babel. Uh, on January 24th, when this space opened, we also launched Art Babel right behind this wall. So, Daniel, tell us, what are some of the unique features of Art Babel? We've created things that we called notes, which are essentially web links that relate directly back to the content you're watching in the video, so that if you're watching a video on Maya Lin for the first time, you might discover her website, other works of art she's created, or other videos about her, so that you can further your exploration well, into art. Forgive me, this sounds very complicated to build, so how did that all come about? Well, I think uh, now would be a good time to talk with Rob Stein. I'm standing with Rob Stein, our Chief Information Officer, and the author of The Back End, hi Rob, of so much of what we have been experiencing online, which could not have been easy to build. Tell us a bit about how you got this all done. Well, we did uh, all of the development for Art Babel in-house. It's really lucky that we have some software developers who are very talented. So um, we used cloud computing technologies. Which is? Uh, it's basically treating computers like uh, elect electric or gas utilities so we can rent the services. So we basically pay for what we use uh, and it lets us really deliver a lot of content. You know, people have said to me, you make it look so easy, but that's all of the people behind the scenes writing code and authoring the, the necessary middleware to build this incredible technology. Well, it's a lot of work, but it's fun, so that makes it feel easy sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, we're grateful for your joining us today, Rob, and also to Daniel, and I hope all of you will join us online at imamuseum.org to see the offerings that we have from the IMA itself, and then from artbabble.org to see all the offerings of all the partner institutions participating in this wonderful experiment. Thanks for joining us today.